Hi everyone, Robert Gang here, strength coach and nutritionist here with Peter Campbell, professional golfer. And we're finishing a workout with some Swiss ball hip extension knee flexions, Swiss ball leg curls. Um, if you have not seen the video for the basic version of how to do it properly, then I suggest going back and looking at that before even starting these advanced versions. Um, oftentimes people tell me, oh, the Swiss ball, it's a waste of time. You can't increase the load and you can't do that. Well, you gotta be creative to increase the load. And so these are several different versions where I've just played around with, with myself and different athletes to really increase the load on the posterior chain. So Peter's gonna demonstrate a few reps of each of them. So a traditional one would just be going back and forth. So go ahead and do a few. There and then back out. Good. There and back out. Okay, relax. So now what we're gonna do is, if Peter can perform good 10, eight to 10 repetitions, we're gonna increase the time under tension. So that just means the time it takes him for him to do the set. So one way to increase the time of tension is just simply increasing, slowing down the repetition range. So we're gonna go a two, two, two. That means two seconds pulling in, two seconds hold, two seconds out. So go and do that. And then he's gonna hold two and then out in two. One and two. A little bit slower. So now since that's pretty easy for him, we're gonna go a three, three, three. So go and do that. In, two, three, and squeeze two, three, and then out, two, three. Good. And now we can make it even harder. If he gets, let's say, 10 reps, we go four. So now four seconds in. So initiate slow. Four, three, two, one, hold, two, three, four. Now out, four, three, two, one, and good. Rest. So with that, four seconds in, four seconds hold, four seconds out, that's 12 seconds per rep. So to get 10 reps, it, you gotta be pretty strong and it's gonna take a lot of time under tension. So the hamstrings will be under fire. So that's one way to um, make it more difficult and more challenging. Another way is to uh, activate more of what we call the explosive type 2B fibers because the hamstrings are predominantly fast twitch muscle fibers. They're the, the part of your thighs that help you to run really fast and jump really high. So one way to change it is to cue Peter to go really fast coming up. He's gonna hold for one, but he's gonna emphasize the eccentric. So we're gonna have him go with a six second eccentric. So go ahead and pip up, quick up, and then pause, and then it's gonna be a six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then go up again, up, good. And then it's six, five, four, three, two, and a one, good, and relax. So that's another way to change the tempo to change the intensity of exercise and the outcome of the exercise. Now, another variation is simply going single-legged, but many times if people try going single-legged, they can't even do one or two reps or the form is so shoddy, uh, it's not even worth doing. So what I classify this technique is a negative accentuated single-leg curl. So he's gonna come up with two legs, but everybody's always stronger in the eccentric phase, meaning the lower phase. So if you have trouble curling 50 pounds, if you just jump the weight up and then lower down the 50 pounds, you can do that, but you just can't lift it. So we're using that same concept here. So Peter's gonna come up in two, good, and take one foot off and then lower down. And you could do a slow eccentric and then switch the other side. So he's gonna come up in two. Now he's switching to the right leg working Come out, good, and then back leg, and then two up, good, and then left leg out, and one more to balance them out, up, and then right leg, go all the way out, 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 good, and rest, good. So that's a tremendous amount of load because now we're putting double the load on one leg. So sometimes people can't walk after a day of doing these, as Peter's probably feeling it now. Now from that position, there's another advanced version to progress this exercise even further. So now we can go with a, let's say you've done this for, let's say a three or four week phase and you've done 10 reps on each side. Now we can do a pure one leg exercise, but even for some people that might be difficult. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna help kickstart it. So whichever leg is off, so Peter's gonna choose to do the right leg or left leg first. So as he curls up, he's gonna kick this right leg back towards the wall, towards his head, to kickstart his motion going into the concentric. So hips up first, take one leg off, and then up, 
and then back out. Good. Now kick back this leg for harder. Or the left leg. Yep. And then back out. And we're still looking for the palms to be up. And then we're looking for that one line playing from the knee to the shoulder. So let's try it again. Good. And then back out. Good. And let's try this side. So hips up. Good. Drive up the leg. That's better. Good. And then out. And relax. Good. Yeah. So tremendous amount of tension. This is actually the first time Peter ever even tried that variation. So he did very well for his first time out. So those are different variations to make it harder. So adding more load, like adding more weight on a leg curl machine um, to make this harder, this exercise harder and more advanced uh, for any of you that find the regular one uh, a bit too easy. So if you like that, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it with anybody that thinks the Swiss ball leg curl exercise is too easy.